Hey guys, Two Dogs here, and I wanted to give you a quick update video on some of the new things coming out of Core Essentials. Uh, as you know, I have multiple videos on Core Belt reviews. It is my everyday EDC gun belt. Um, I wear it without a gun too, uh, in, in some situations, but I wanted to just talk about some updates and things going on with them. have to get into all the details around you know their 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 technology you know their their one fourth increment on their existing belt so you can tighten and loosen with just the quick <laughs> flick of a knob uh, this is the the x5 uh, buckle that I've been using for years this is their technology um, and I have a whole video on how to size these in and, and how that works so um, just full disclosure they don't pay me. I don't get paid by Corey at Core to do anything. He sends me some things and says, hey, Scott, tell me your honest review. So I do. And this is just another one of those, right? So I suggest you watch all of my Core Belt videos and then come to this one if you've just stumbled upon it now. So this is my, my leather version, my 1.5 one, my inch leather uh, everyday carry belt. So we're going to do a little bit of a comparison of it. Uh, this is the G1 Garrison, I believe, that I uh, they sent me. So we're going to open it together. Um, some marketing material here, whatnot. Discounts and things. So, one of the things that I noticed when I was looking at the differences between the two is right here. So this is actually what I call the X, or they call the X6 model. And basically what they're always trying to do is enhance this. Because... To me, the buckle is key. If the buckle holds, the belt holds, right? Now, they've done some other things with the inner workings of the belt itself, but the buckle is crucial. So, if you look right off the bat, and what I'm going to do is just a little bit of a comparison. So, if you look right off the bat, you're going to see some major differences in the buckle itself. So, first off, I have Allen wrench holes that are tiny. It was a tiny little Allen wrench. Now, so you can see here there are teeth that dig into the belt itself, you slap that shut and then you can screw in two uh, Allen wrench screws, small screws that hold it even more snug and tight for you so that that's not coming out, period. Here, I've already seen off the bat, we have a completely different model here. So you still see those same teeth that dig in, but it's a nice, it's an easier flap so they've upgraded there and that screw is gigantic folks, so that's big. And that's going to hold that belt in there once I size it correctly and I have a video on how to do that I can see that too. Um, there's also some differences here, subtle, but you can see difference in strength, so the sides of this buckle are thicker. Um, and this is just, again, another style. This, this concept is the same. It's just I have this, this hexagon shape or whatnot. Now they have core on the front, things like that. But you can buy all different types of buckles for all different types of belt styles. So you don't have to, you know, just do, Corey won't mind me saying this, you can buy one buckle and seven belts. Totally do that saves you money, right? Because they sell it in that, in that model. So because it's deer season, I chose to go with a camo color. Okay, so this is my, I'm actually gonna wear this in the woods, spray it down, get the scent off, and wear it in the woods. Um, but the core, the inner core technology, you can see here, so they still, of course, they still have the same. But the inner core technology, you can, you can feel and I don't know if you can see that on camera, but can I show that? Folks, that's thick. That's thick and solid. This is not going to bend. Like, there's some other gun belts I'm looking at on Facebook ads, and they call it a gun belt, and it's flimsy. Like, you can't... You, you can't bend this, right? I mean, you can do this, but you can't... That's not going to sag out on you, right? Once you tie the, get this around your waist... It's going to be solid. That's one of the reasons why I love it so much. So this is a, uh, um, a more corduroy type material. So on the new belt here, you'll see that they've already given you the markings of your waist. So you have a 36 inch waist. I'm a 37. I literally just make a cut with a razor blade, clean sharp razor blade right here, and then attach the buckle. So when I cut it to my size, what you'll see on the inside, like they're not even hiding it, right? This is the, what they call their, their power core center so this is what keeps this belt from bending this way you can't bend it 
this way or this way. And that's that power core center. And then this is extremely hard foam, I'd say. And this is this is a fourth of an inch thick belt. So, and I, I like the fact that this side is a is is soft, but it almost like it would stick. So if you had to wear, I don't know, dress pants or whatnot, even jeans, this is this isn't going to slide. Although it's going to be tight enough to where it won't. But this here, this is a a, a very nice material. A leatherette, uh, leatherette type material to to keep it snug on your waist. I just like the tactical belt loop. The the I, I just like the tactical belt style. Um, so that's why I choose this. The Garrison is much thicker. So if you guys like a real thick belt, there look on their website, coreyessentials.com, for the Garrison version. But they even give you extra screws in case you lose them like me. But I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and attach it. Right? And I'm doing this on the, behind the camera, so bear with me. One of the things they've done on their website, if you go and take a look, is they actually have more product now. You know, they have, uh, they sent me a, uh, a pair of range sunglasses uh, so that you can wear those while you're sighting in and whatnot, going to the range, practicing and all. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this a much thicker screw. That's so much better. All right, so if you cut it square and straight, like I've done with a square, it fits right in there, and I literally just close it. And I cut this one just a tad longer. So, I mean, right, right there I'm good. Like, I don't, you know, this is kind of overkill to me because I, there's no way this is coming loose. But in case, for whatever reason, that little flap, flaps open. I don't know how that would happen when it's around your waist, but if it does, these suckers keep it in nice and tight. All right, so at this point, I'm locked in. I'm square. You all know how this works. I slide this piece in, and you can hear it. You hear that? So that's the teeth. That's this, this tooth right here locking into place. One-fourth inch increments on this polymer it's not going anywhere and that's your belt right perfect and then they do little things like that you don't think about like this this might not matter to you I don't necessarily need it because I have lots of loops on my jeans but this is this little elastic piece will just help hold that in so if you're looping way around if you cut it longer and you want it to go way around to your side on the opposite side of what you carry, I carry on this side, so this is the opposite side. Then I can just strap this around and keep this guy in place. But <laughs> you don't need it because he doesn't move. But anyway. And then they have other cool little things that you don't think about, like hanging your belts on your closet. Like these are little clamps you can actually just... Literally, I have about five of these now. And you just, boom, they hang right in. So great improvement to me. I, I like the thickness of these belts. The tactical has definitely been improved. I do wear the leather on Sundays. Um, but hey, you know what? They have other products. Check out their website, right? So I, you know, you have things that you can purchase that they've thought about. And they thought about us in mind. I mean, look at this. This is the... This is the carrier for your range glasses. Like the attention to detail on here, that's just so cool. I thought it was a mug. Nope. It's actually glasses. That you can now wear to the range. I actually think these fit over existing glasses. Right? Just a polymer. Nice eye protection when you're sighting in or, or just practicing your weekly practice. Good. Well, guys, just wanted to make a quick video. Didn't want to go too overboard. I've got other core videos if you want to watch. But in any event, I just feel like this, this brand, this product is so solid. The reason I make videos is to help you with purchasing decisions. It's not to sell you something. It's just to tell you if you're going to buy a gun belt, watch this video because I think I have the one you might like. So, again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Thank you.